After nearly a decade in legal wrangling, Apple heads to trial today over its iPod music players. Joining us now to break down what it means for the music business and for Apple itself is Dan Costa, editor-in-chief at PCMag.com. And I got I to say, this digital music industry has evolved a lot just over the past decade. It's come a long way since I remember it with my first MP3 player. So how has it done over the past 10 years and why is Apple such a key player in it? Yeah, it's really pretty extraordinary what's happened in the last 10 years. And Apple was right there at the beginning of it. And this case actually dates from that first digital transition. But we've seen the collapse of the album. That's not important anymore. Apple had a lot to do with that. We've seen the collapse of the traditional recording industry and the traditional album model. So it's it's really come a long way. At the same time, it's never been a better time to be a fan of music. We've never had more access to it. And it's if you're an artist, it's never been easier to make music and actually get it distributed. Um, the thing that hasn't changed is it's just as hard to make money in the industry as it always has been. I mean, watching watching that video there of people sliding their circular hand touch signals around here with the old iPod, it brings back a lot of memories for me. But let's talk a little bit about why it's important because for this particular case, Steve Jobs, the, four, the founder of Apple, who's now deceased, was deposed just a few months before he died, and his testimony is expected to impact the case. They're gonna play back that tape. What does it mean? What's he gonna say? What's at stake for that particular testimony? Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be very strange to to hear from him at this late date, and I'm sure this is not how he would uh, how he would have liked to, uh, to to come back. But he's gonna wind up talking about the iPod, and we gotta remember the iPod. People joke about it now. People who still carry iPods seem quite uh, old fashioned. But there was a time when carrying your entire music library in your pocket was pretty revolutionary, and Apple dominated the market at that time. They did have monopoly-like powers, both on the software side with labels and on the hardware side with consumers. And the question is how is he going to cast that uh, and, and is he going to uh, say something that uh, really shows how much power they had? Now, now Dan, one of the other interesting points here, we always talk about Apple with regards to the hardware, the iPads, the iPhones, and even the iPods, but this is very much about the music and the software, iTunes. So what is at stake for Apple with this particular case going to court? So it's a three-year window that this case uh, involves between 2006 and 2009 when Apple had DRM protection on its music tracks and you could only play those tracks on the iPod. So Apple has sort of moved away from that model now. They're moving into a subscription model. They don't use DRM tracks on, online anymore. So it's really, it's, it's really a blast from the past. It doesn't have a lot to do with their future business model, but uh, they could if they get found guilty of, of, of using that monopoly power when they had it. Um, the, the estimates are this could be a billion dollar settlement. For most companies, that's a lot of money. For Apple, uh, it's, it's not going to slow them down too much. <laughs> because Apple is close to worth $700 billion. Dan Costa, thank you so much for joining us here. That was Dan Costa, editor-in-chief of PCMag.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have yourself a great day.